Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for Advantage. Advantage. Hey, check it out, Johnny B. This Deutsche is the, Africa Corps. It is a Deutsche Africa Corps, but I'm noticing that. it's a Warlord one. Warlord. Yeah, it says Warlord on the box somewhere, doesn't it? Yeah, look, Warlord is a bolt action one. So we had a look at, already had a look at the Perry Plastic Desert rats. British Desert Rats. Warlord did run in an offer the other week. Oh, <laughs> and so it was like, like, buy yeah, one of these and get a free it. box of Dude Bros. I'm like, let's do it. Let's <laughs> cool. do it. Let's, let's compare the ranges. So we're going to get the plastic off and let's have a look inside. Right, mate, ah. what comes in the box? Okay, so the Africa Corps starter army contains mm. 36 Africa Corps infantry. 36 dude, plastic bro. Plastic in brackets. Plastic. Pay attention to that. One Africa Corps 8.8 centimeter flat 37. Plastic. That, that's the 88, mate. It is an flat. 88. In plastic. In plastic. That's interesting. I would have thought it would be metal. Yeah, nice. I'm surprised that. However, know. the crew, which there are seven of, are mm -hmm. metal. Probably in their shirt sleeves, shorts, ready for the tropical that's conditions. That's a big old crew. Seven crew. Yeah, yeah. I think the real crew is like 50 guys or something. Well, the dude bro is getting the coffee, the tea, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, rounds, yeah, yeah, everything yeah. else. But yeah. Uh, you also get one Africa Corps MMG team metal. Oh, yeah, the old MG34. You nice. get an 81 millimeter mortar. Medium mortar. Noble Action Army is, is yeah. actually legit. Well, I, th I think it's a mandatory, <laughs> mandatory take. And a flamethrower for some reason. We're, we're, not, we're not doing that here. You get a plastic Panzer three medium. You do. You do. I'm glad to see again. Not resin. Nice. Uh, yes, that is good. And then you get all the gump as well. The assembly instructions. Right. Uh, decals. And all the other bits. So the Deutsche Africa car, mate. So where do you want? Where do you want to start? Oh, I don't know. Should we start with the infantry sprue? Because I mean, that's going to give the real. The, that is the core yeah. of it. So let's get those. Uh, let's get that out. Whoop. All right. So we got we got the infantry sprue here. We're going to get obviously some pictures of this. So there's six guys on a sprue. Um, they're all in full length trousers, mate. Nobody in shorts that here. That is the truth. Yeah. So in a lot of ways, this is going to look a lot like Blitzkrieg Germans, because I think it's I think it's the same uniform, different material. What you is reckon? different? Is are the sleeves rolled up? Um, looking, 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 looking. No, not. What's going on? What is in? Are just melting in the desert. What? Yeah, I mean the heads are very different. The kit is different. Um, so these guys are often depicted, like you'll see on the box art. These are often depicted in a kind of desert color. Mm. This uniform is actually green. Is it? Yeah, but the dyes are cheap and they're out in the sun all day. So it's bleached. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's bleached green uniform. Wow. Interestingly, another thing that a lot of people don't realise, this is the German tropical uniform, is large portions of Army Group South in Russia were issued with the same uniform okay. for the summer. Really? Mm. I suppose, yeah. Yeah, so I think it's made of a light fabric. So we've got here, John, we've got a 2018 sprue, right? So this is kind of showing that kind of, I feel, the, the growing confidence Warlord has around some of their plastic kits. Yeah, for sure. There's things on here that you won't find on some of the earlier sprues. There's a lot more weapons in plastic. So we've got, as well as having uh, Car 98s and some MP40s, we've also got an anti-tank rifle on yeah. there. What's that all about? That's good. And tank rifle from that. Well, the early war, and tank rifle, it's that a thing. That's the thing, right? It's it's important, yeah. Um the MG34 looking at that arm like the anti-tank rifle. Looks like it's meant to be for the prone dude. It's for the prone dude. And there are there are yeah. So these six poses, you've got three, four standing, one kneeling, doing Pilates. <laughs> That is very similar to the, yes. to the US, yeah. Yeah, to the US Marine guy. Um, he's in a, he's in a squat pose and another one fine. But by the time, if you've got an MG34 on a, on a, on a bipod and you've got an anti-tank rifle on a bipod and a sniper, you're actually going to have a use for most of these guys. True. Opposed to having and, them and then, interspersed with your running. Yeah, you're not going to have like one rifleman in a squad with this because you're going to need them for your spotter, yeah. your mortar yeah. spotter. They're all teams you're gonna, too, aren't they? So at least. Yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, um, your MG team, etc. But as well as having the announced tank, which is not common to these sprues, you've also got a, you've also got a 50 centimeter mortar. That is, that's pretty cool. It is nice, and it's, again, even, it's even got the base plate on it. It and looks, looks like the prone as well. Again, yeah, for use with the prone for it. So this is the, the light mortar. 
That's good, that one. The light mortar is one of the things you don't see enough of in bolt action because the way the army lists are built, it goes in the same slot. It's instead of the 80 yeah. millimeter mortar, the sure. medium mortar, which is such a fantastic value proposition as a model for mm. the points. Yeah. But these things are at platoon level. Everybody's got these. And, and you're just not going to see them. So if you're homebrewing games, would strongly encourage you to reintroduce the two-inch mortar. I do wonder if some of the... Mortar. I know some of the armies, um, I think it's the Japanese, can have sections of these. Yes. Yeah, like so they can take three for yeah, so one slot. You'll see like them that. where there's some sort of niche formation that allows you yeah. to use them that's a bit weird. Well, the selectors. But on a standard game... Yeah. On a standard game, the light mortar is, is, is instead of the... It's, it's nice that they include it. And, and if you play a narrative, I'd stick that in. If you've got 30 guys on the table, there should be a two-inch mortar somewhere. Or in the case of the Germans, a five-centimeter mortar. Oosh. Which is another thing, right? Germans, which I'd, I'd only really appreciated recently, we tend to talk about the fl the 88. As a beast, yeah. Yeah, or as a as an 80 millimeter or 81 millimeter mortar, etc. The Germans definitely describe them in centimeters. So the German 88, the Germans call a flak 8.8. .8. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and it's a, yeah. and it's and it's a it's five centimeter mortar, which is interesting because you know you never, we, but we don't read it in German, do we? Well, no. So it's so it kind of translated for us. I just it's just one of those observations I made mm. recently. So like a lot of the newer kits, um, these arms. I'm not sure there are any single single arms um, for separate weapons. Any over slung over shoulder the, slung one. There's a single over. The shoulder holstered. No, no. What I mean is where you have a separate arm, a separate arm, and oh, then yeah. a weapon to none put in those. between, which is a real modelling challenge. <laughs> There's none of that. So in most, almost all cases, you've got one or two arms moulded on the weapon, which means these are going to go together really nicely. You will know... Um, Paul Sawyer mentioned just, this in his just interview. Just seen one. Just seen one. And one loose we rifle. can't... We've got a, yeah, we've got a yeah. lie rifle and... We, we've got the stick grenade thrower. In the old Are you airfix about pose. That? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't normally like a grenade chucker in in my army because it always looks weird. I think you're just like what what, what everybody else is running across the field with, <laughs> yeah, with, with a grenade ready like to run. <laughs> um or whatever. Yeah. So uh, well, let's have a little bit of what so we've got have we finished with the weapons? We've got the we've got rifles. I think so. You've got all got the weapons. MP forties, anti tank rifle, five centimetre mortar. MG thirty four. Uh, do we have a snipe? Do we have a scoped rifle on here? Oh, uh, we've got a Luger. Question. Now you are. It's uh, in the top left there. We've got a Luger hand on it, and we've got some handless arms that we can slot that into. Yeah, which is nice. I'm not Ooh. seeing a scoped. Not seeing a scoped rifle. I mean, if you've got other German kits, that's gonna yeah, be, that's going to be yep. very easy to find but it looks like uh, your sniper can be able to make from this obviously the really standout thing about this this is the kit so we yeah, i don't mean the weapons and the models i mean the the belt the kits on the belt the gas masks and trenching oh, tools yeah water flask there's a lot so of often in almost every kit i've ever seen these are you basically get five or six identical sets of kit pretty much these there's there's at least five unique ones here yep where, where the kit is just arranged slightly different in each case. Yeah, I like it. They've got it. slightly different proportions of kit, and that's really going to make them feel different, aren't they? Um, I see up here, John, we've got a map. Oh, I'm liking that. With a compass on yeah, it. Yeah, it's got the compass on it. Yeah? So you can stick that on a, you can stick mean, that on a table, you can put that in just, hand. I would have that as one of my knickknacks, man. That would just yeah. go on the table. Oh, right, you just have that yeah. as like a, a bit of scatter terrain. Yeah, random one. All the bits. Yeah. Um, we've got the, the magazine pouches. What's this sort of like, is this a briefcase full of confidential... Hang on, where's the briefcase? Information. Uh, it's up near the heads. No, I think that's, I think that's a that grenade a case. Plate? A grenade case? I think... So. I, I mean, people know I mean, these things. I, yeah. And I, I, and, and I don't... But grenades come in cases. I suppose, because these are... And I think the handles and the fuses are separate. You know, I think this has the heads in it. Right. Or maybe it has the heads in one part and the handles in another. Okay. I'm pretty sure the German grenades come in cases. That would cases. make sense. Not just the briefcase. Um, and the other reason I'm saying that is I think Airfix had on their kit an open one of these. 
And I remember Paul saying, this is heavily inspired by those original really cool. Airfix models. And of course, the other really standout feature about this is the heads. Yeah, There's a the lot heads. of heads here. So you've got the kind of classic Stahlhelm or forage cap guys, but mostly with goggles on. They've all got goggles. They've all got goggles. One's having a, a little smoke. Yeah. Some of them have got uh, scarves or... Yeah. Um, Neckerchiefs. Yeah. Neckerchiefs, <laughs> yeah. And then, then we've got the guys with the with the tropical helmets on as well. Now, I I don't know which guys had those helmets, but if we get the bit of paper, have you got the? Do you reckon the, wisdom? the bit of paper is going to tell us? Yeah, because I'll just have a look at the pouches because we got we've got a pistol, we've got a pointy hand. Uh, ooh, that looks like pistol ammunition case. It's pretty cool. Uh, binoculars case, separate water bottle. That pouch I don't recognise. Sorry, and the others are MP40. The long ammo pouches are for the MP40. Yeah. And the reason you've got those is, and you haven't got the rifle ammunition kit pouches, is they've got rifle ammunition pouches sculpted on the models. So you don't need to put them on. Good. It's only if they've got... They're also slightly oval-backed, so you might be able to put them over the top of the rifle ammo pouches. I don't want to promise you. No, that. until we've got hands on with it. Like, yeah, yeah, until we get hands on with it. Yeah. Uh, so what does it say? It, it just says sun hats. Sun, it just says sun, sun hats. helmet. Sun it, helmet. The sun helmet. It doesn't, it doesn't say, which... say anything about that specifically. It does state though about the um, the color, the olive green tropical uniform, a field cap, and a cork. Oh, idiot. <laughs> the newly deployed Africa Corps troops were issued with an olive green tropical uniform, yep. a field cap. And a cork pith helmet. So I'm wondering if that's the... That's a pith helmet, definitely. That's the sun helmet that they're yeah. describing here. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. So new guys got it. Uh, it was comfortable and proof against the sun. It offered little combat protection. Mm. <laughs> the classic steel helmet was thus sent to Africa. Troops needing to overpaint the grey or green European variants with something more suited to the desert. Oh, they're supposed to paint them so it does a line. It does say so when they went to Africa, they were given they were a forage given those... cap and a sun helmet. Yeah, and then they, and they realized... said like these things are not shrapnel proof. This is cork. You can have your own. <laughs> yeah, you can have your metal one back. So probably like drivers and people who were not in combat roles probably still wearing. Yeah, these maybe yeah. Because they're better protection against. I mean, do you want a metal thing on your head if you're going to in the heat? It? In Boil the heat. your brain. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So yeah, this is um. This is a really nice. I didn't realise it was that new. This this particular kit, the Africa Core, it's twenty eighteen, and you can really see. You compare this to some of the early earlier kits. Oh, for sure. They, they've re they've yeah. really gone to town. Yeah. And, and as I say, it's stuff like the the variety of the helmets, the variety that it's especially the the, 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 the belt equipment, the stuff that the soldiers got on his back, Faces making each one good. of those different is just something that isn't usually done. No. I think that's a really nice touch. Some quality um, quality sculpting. Yeah, and you've got the guy um, holding a pair of binoculars as well, so you're going to be able to make your, your spotter, your um, or your artillery observer out of that. You get pretty much almost all the models you need for your infantry out of these, and there are 36, so that's going to do you. For action games, 36 is a lot of dudes. That's it, that's, yeah, that's your yeah. main force, right? Especially Six when we're looking through. at battle. Oosh. So the Panzer III, just having a look at it, it's, uh, it's an Italian uh, kit, so this is this is one of these where, depending on which brew you see first, you feel more or less confident about it. So this first brew I picked up, <laughs> it's like, yeah, what? I said, like, I can do that one, <laughs> and then there's it's that, all oh, the little on. bits. There's lots of little bits going on there. That least part of that is because these Italian kits, there's just a lot, there's a lot of detail on them. There really is yeah, a lot of detail you, on yeah, it. You can't fall right for down that. to um, the under, the, the lower the hole underneath. Underneath, <laughs> it's like, mate, I don't even paint this no. bit. Let alone look <laughs> at it. Um, so that's nice. Um, it's going to be built. I have not built a Panzer three yet, but it's goes looking like it's going together very much like the Panzer four kit in terms of the running gear. And the tracks, it's got the two parts, the two. you know, you've got a bit that goes on the top. I find them tricky sometimes. I, you know? They you you are likely to need to put some pressure on this track system to make it fit. 
Um, he's, yeah, he's, it did. He's, it he's did not work with my pan, with my Panzer IV, yeah. but it did. It, it wasn't quite as easy as I expected yeah. it to be. And yeah. I'm holding it for a long time. Even following so the forth. destructions, I still yes. managed to put some of the, some of the tracks on. Because they're these track. IKEA style instructions, right? So yeah. this because here, this because here, this, and, and it's fine until you I can't mean, do it. it. Yeah, it's <laughs> and then it's like, oh, yeah. What's so a four piece. It's a four piece track. It's a four piece track, and then. You've got yes. a side and a, oh, there's a, back a and side piece on these as well to give well. you the, the loop around. Yeah, some of the newer ones have just been yeah. two sections. So this kit, looking at this, this is going to build <laughs> J L M N O D. Yeah. No, no, no. For, it's going to build from the yeah. from the J through to the N versions. So none of these are the really early ones. Oh, boo. But the really early ones are like 1937, right? Okay. The really early Oh, right, ones. okay. That's all right. Um, I think the M, no, the, the M, the N, I think, is, is the howitzer tank. So let's have a look at the guns and so forth. All um, the guns, which here. it says there, yeah. Alf's J early, which is the sort of yeah, short there's a Yeah, there's a few different mantlets, look. The J late is a longer barrel. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, that little nubby thing is the LN and the MN. It says. That little nubby thing. What number are you looking at? There should be a little now? nubby bit. So 72 is the part number. And oh, wow. It's like a very tiny little nubby. Yeah, bit. so that's that's the uh, that's the L24, the 75mm L24. Whereas the 73, is that for the, is that for the M? Uh, 73 is for the J late. And the L, and the L, and the L sim. It does say yeah, it right so there. Yeah, that, so that's the the L sixty fifty millimeter gun. Right. And seventy four is for the other earlier versions, right? Yeah, seventy four is yeah. That's, the J early. Yeah, that's the short barreled fifty. It's not short barreled, but it's not long barreled. Where, where is the? Oh, that it. That that looks. That's a gun. What? Part seventy two. That little nubby bit. That's what you was said, like, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, it is. It is. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. I can't believe that's it's a short gun. barrel howitzer. It's like an aerial yeah. <laughs> couple uh, thing. Aerial holder. Yeah, it's tiny, mean. tiny. Yeah, it is. So you know what those those numbers mean, like the L L24, L50. I really don't. So that that is the length of the barrel, but not the total length. It's not like that. I mean, 24 inches. It's the number of. It's the length of the barrel in calibers. So how many times? So it's about it the proportion of barrel length to munitions size. Does it is squeeze that, in? Is that no, 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 no. So like an L24 yeah. would be 24 times as long as it is wide, and an L50 would be 50 times as long as it is wide. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So the longer it is, the more time it's got in, in, under high pressure still within the barrel. Mm from the propellant, the more time it's got engaged with the rifling, which is going to make it more accurate. Wow. The thing about rifling is it actually, it doesn't increase the total range. It actually decreases it because the, the munition is losing energy from Spins spinning, it but it keeps it more accurate for longer. So it's effective range. Oh. The range at which you might act, where it's still going in a straight line is way it's longer. Quite important. Yeah. But they just fire it into the air. How far does it go? That actually decreases with rifling. Okay. But you never hit anything that way. No. So, um, it's yeah. A fair compromise. So the short mount, that's, that's for firing HE ammunition. So the original design, the Panzer III is intended to be the tank fighting tank, and right. the Panzer IV is the support tank, but not really? for the infantry. This is It's not an infantry tank like in the British style. It's intended to support the tanks in roles where they need to deal with infantry. Right. Where a, where a 50 mil anti-tank gun isn't going to have the kind of bursting charge. Yes. So it's there, it's... An anti-infantry, anti-light vehicle weapon system, but to support other tanks to keep them moving. Mm. That's the original concept and the design for the Panzer III, Panzer IV. As the war progresses, they fight the Soviets and they need to upgun the tanks. It turns out the Panzer IV can hold a bigger it's a better gun. It's a slightly bigger shatty. turret ring. Yeah. Um, so for the very, very similar looking vehicles. They are. But just in terms of upgradability, there's a bit more capacity in the Panzer IV. So the roles end up being switched. Yeah, yeah, completely. The Panzer III 
the N version goes to being what the the support what the Panzer IV was entry. originally, right. as they've up gone to seven. The Panzer IV can take the seventy five mil. Why don't you never? And then as the as that role is no longer deemed so significant, the Panzer III is phased out in forty three and entirely moved over to Stug production. Stugs are Panzer threes underneath. I feel yeah. like I knew that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's what that is. But wow. this, of course, is 1940, 1941. So you do see pretty much all variants of the Panzer III in North Africa because it's there in its golden age. Mm. Yeah. Um, and you don't worry about the fact that, like, J might seem like quite a late version. A lot of those early series ABC Panzer threes, there's handfuls of them manufactured. They're not really... They're not serial production. Okay. They're, they're more like, well, we make six of these, and then we make ten of the next one. Right. And then we make 30 of the one after that. And then we go into producing... It was like... Because they're working out the, how they're going to make hundreds of them rather than handfuls handful. of them. Yeah, so they make those kind of changes early on. Um, mm. But you make, yeah, a lot of different variants with this kit. It's good. It's nice. It's all plastic. plastic. The detail on the upper surfaces is really good. And really crisp and clean. I think um, there's a bit of time. Certainly, we'll need to go into this kit, but a it looks like it's more, worth it. Yeah. Looks can you like cheat? It's worth it. Can you cheat anywhere? Do you think? Is there any bits you could miss? Can off? you cheat? Is there any well, bits you could quite happily just? I'm not sure. That's a tough question. But looking at it, that is a tough question. Uh, without building it, it's hard to say. Like, there's certainly a lot of turret skirts. Is that an essential thing? Would, would no, it, no. So there you go. You just saved That's yourself a about thing. twelve. 12 pieces you don't, there, put, so. you don't need to put the skirts on in fact i mean if you're making an m or an n you should do but probably in north africa those very late versions you don't want to make yeah um well, it says it actually says it quite there for look m and n is the the sort of one with all the bits yeah. for the thing and then yeah. it's got a j which is sort of got some armor on it but yeah it's cool cool okay yeah all right that's that that's that kit nice looking kit so sticking with the plastic, what I didn't realise is they're flak 88s. I mean, it is a bit of a beast, it, is it, it not? No, it, it is, and I'm delighted that they do it in plastic. That's Hang on, that's, let me get the booklet. Then. Yeah. Get a lovely little booklet with it. Wow, and it is a booklet. And it, and it, and it is a booklet. Assembly and painting guide. Look at that. So, so pleased about this. I've, I've got to say, um, I've really gone off metal guns. They're just never straight, man. No, and you, you can't know. unkink And plastic that. is straight, <laughs> but, you know. Or snapped. Or, it's one or the broken, other. <laughs> but you can glue it back together. Yeah. Right. So I'm looking at this. Again, it's got all the kind of hallmarks of being an Italian kit. You can, t you can kind of feel that from the density of the plastic and the and the nature of the, of the sprue gates and so forth. So this is quite a sophisticated kit for what it it's is. It isn't, it isn't just a cross with a gun, with a carriage no, and a gun. You've got, got you've got extra little bits on there. It's not got a million parts no, to it. Not it's nice it and and it is in 28 mil, you know. You want you want to be able to see the sights and the winches and so forth. Um all a little when you go to a museum one of the things I, I, I like about looking at that kind of first and second world war artillery is all the, is all the little dance. The little bit. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> So what does that do? I don't know, but some dude turns that right, and and it does <laughs> and it does the thing. That's lovely. Yeah. Um, so it's going to make that up. But the instructions look like even you could do it, John. Right. But there are definitely some some fragile parts around the mechanism. Definitely, um, there are. Ooh. Fortunately, if you look at eye look, there's bits where it tells you not to glue. So that's going to give you um, some mobility. Sweet. In the kit. Um, so yeah, an 8.8 centimeter flak, 37 yards. Some of those do look quite delicate. They they certainly parts. do. Yeah, they Be certainly careful. do. But, you get but they're shell. not they're not under tension though, John. I no, can, I can no. Push. This isn't going to snap just because you touch not it from with a blade. Not the sprue, but I think it might snap as you oh, pick yeah, yeah. it up and <laughs> <As> <laughs> you like, in your sausage fingers. Yeah. 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 But the I would say, and the advantage of them working with a company like it's it. it it's an area is these guys have been making model kits for a while you will get these pieces off the sprue without damaging them yeah they've, you know they've um, which isn't always the case with war games kits you got nice little bits of uh, spare shell for lying around and i assume these are um it's because it's two-part ammunition isn't it these are the charges 
Is that what they are? Really? You just slot them into the You know that's that's the the tube with the cordite in. Mm. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna pull it out and ram it in. Or maybe it even goes in in the case. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it's on the painting guide on the back. I'm showing you the Is two it? things together. Oh yeah. Yeah. Which is another nice thing. It's got a painting guide on the back. Uh, and we've got some metal crew to go with this. We can have a look at it in a minute. But it shows you, which is quite... A lag. Quite nice. So they've obviously, they maybe do two versions of this kit. There's two different crew packs. Because <laughs> there's these guys, which are like Blitzkrieg era. Are you sure they're not just painted different? Well, no, they're there's very, four shirtless yeah. guys <laughs> on the other one. <laughs> yeah, that's quite radically different. <laughs> that's quite yeah. different. Okay. Uh, so hopefully the guys in here are... Uh, I know those dudes. Yeah. yeah. Let's hope they've put the right pack in. I'm quite confident they have. Yeah, yeah. And and again, you've got a, you've got the painting guide on the back, which is always which is always nice. I really like that. So let's have a look yeah. at the crew for these guys, shall we? So we've got a pack of seven bods somewhere. Yep. It's the packed for you by V. Just a V, it says. By V? Written in pen. Who Mate. is this mysterious person? Who are you? Oh, oh, look at these, like, naked guys. So we have got... Yeah, it's exactly the same guys we saw yeah, in there. Yeah. So we've got seven crew. Pretty crisp. One, um, yeah, nice, clean details. A little bit of flash to come off there, but not... It's not like there's mold lines that I need to do a load of work on. So the clean-up time on this is pretty good. Oh, look at his manly manliness. Yeah. The oh. guy... Do you know what I'm saying? I've got this thing about vehicle crew always seem to look a bit weedy. They may be a bit underscaled. Yeah. How are you the feeling about the dude well, sitting down Well, he's a bit scrawny, the gunner, <laughs> on this. He's just, he's just not, it's not as manly as the others, John. Well, I, I think... <laughs> he's more of a Johnny I think, B. I think some of it is he the need... concessions they've made for him to slot in there. To slot in there, So yeah. half of his body is a little bit thinner than <laughs> it needs to be, maybe. So you just need to take him home and give him a good feed, give mate. That's what feed. it needs. So look at these guys carrying the ammo, they're like, strong! He's, he's stronger than he looks. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So you've got a guy, you've got two guys carrying replacement ammunition. One guy is uh, uh, is actually sat on the seat firing a gun. One guy is loading. One's chilling with a, his bottle of water. And it's just, uh, it's just like, <laughs> hot, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I like stuff like that. And the, the guy just sat holding the shell, like... Whoa, with his trusting his cap. Whoa, yeah, it's, again, it's the thing that um, Paul was saying. When we interviewed him. It's like this, this, it's telling a story, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I think I think that's true. The, the so the the captain or whoever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's holding his pencil like this, and he's got his little note like saying, "Your name can also go on the list." <laughs> Possibly, perhaps he's like checking wind direction or yeah, on V as well. Oh, who is this mysterious Ooh, v? mysterious figure? So don't don't get this kit expected. But again, you know, you like I said, not just from the color perspective of the uniforms, but you could definitely use these guys in in uh, Southern Russian armies as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, People go on kit. the Black Sea on holiday. Yeah, yeah. For 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 sun and and, they and do, sea south, yeah. Black Sea. That's where Army Group South is. You can definitely use these in, uh, in you know um, with your Blitzkrieg guys if you're fighting that Southern. Um, southern Front, especially the very south of it, and they were issued with these uniforms, as far as I know. Cool beans burning through the kits here. Burning Are we going to stick with the metals? Yeah, yeah, it's finishing the metal bits. Oh, okay, next? so I've got the mortar next. You've got a mortar, the old 81 Staple millimeter mortar. Bolt action. Africa got medium cut, lead free from Africa, cost starter, it says. So again, let's In. have a look at these. So, I mean, 81 millimeter mortar, you need this. <laughs> if you're playing bolt Standards. action. Ooh, these are nice, man. This guy's arm is holding. <laughs> I've never seen that before. He's holding it, the tripod. Oh, yeah. And his hand is attached to it. It's not like his hand is part of the kit. So that, you do need to have a look at this before yeah. you start gluing it together. It's it's the usual three-man posing. You know, one guy's like, hello, I'm helping you. One guy's doing the... <laughs> And another one is actually attending the mortar. But this chap here who's attending the war the mortar, as I say, his arm is actually attached to the supporting structure of the mortar, the front of it. Yeah, that's so you, you want to be putting really this together it. as part of the 
ba as you base in it. So that goes on. Sweet. Yeah. Now, yeah. And then the pick, the which way is he angling it? Oh, no, okay. Right. Yeah. I thought he was holding the tube with his other hand N and it was like no. firing over his shoulder, but it's. No. So it is, but firing forwards over his yes. shoulder, not backwards yes. over his shoulder. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. All right. So it, it doesn't, you know, I've just, we've just done it's it now. Fine. Yeah, yeah, it goes, it's yeah. actually not just, that difficult. I just wasn't expecting it. You just need to have a little thing. Um, so to who this might who this might consent people who like to finish painting their models before putting them anywhere near a base yeah. this might present a little bit of a challenge i mean you can you can glue it on glue it on later i'm sure but i i, I would incline not to do that because i'd you, want to see want the mortar as quite well, how, it, to glue it on. how it's all going to fit together before putting any paint on um but you could probably pin it or do it you know if you're really really fussy about that sort of thing uh, me, I'd, I'd definitely fit it all together and then worry about painting yeah, it. This is sure. packed by Vass. Not to be confused with V, who yeah, did the I other got thing. Vass, yeah. Yeah, all right. Nice. Definitely, uh, it, it's different. It's very Africa core. Again, I think they've got their, some of them got the sleeves rolled up and stuff. But, um, yeah, a bit more character. You could, you could probably mix these in with your um, earlier mid war Germans if you wanted to, to get different poses. Yeah. Yeah, you need to be fighting in the summer. They've got sleeves rolled yes. up and stuff. <laughs> not the but they're not, they're not stripped to the vest. Uh, like, no, stripped naked. to the naked like the other guys. That's okay. what I've got here is uh, the sustained fire machine gun. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, uh, mysteriously. V with the pen, with the blue bick. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> it's V again, yeah, V. So, uh, three, man, three man crew. Ooh, nice. Who's, who's firing it? Uh, the guy, so he's he's firing it. It's a guy laid on his side. Really? He's like, hey, he's a bit chilled about the yeah, whole thing, that's John. Very chilled. About I don't think it. he's actually firing it so much. He's he just like prepared? chilling alongside it. Um. So yeah, you've got you've got one guy operating the machine gun, but he he looks more yeah. like he's in a sleaze pose <laughs> with his leg cocked out. I was like. Hello, sailor. Yeah, what's <laughs> Look going at my on weapon. there? I'm sure it's fine. They're not um, prepared to fire. They're not in a firing position. They're not in a firing position. Um, yep, yeah, belt feed it. You got you got the gun there. Deep nice, blow. clean cast. Not you can see. And then, yeah. uh, interestingly, the third man in the crew um, is is obviously the um, the uh, bombardier or whatever it's called. The guy in charge of the machine gun. With his binoculars, but this could serve as any 1939 to 42 spot, spotter. spotter. So if you're looking to get some variety in that, um, I can tell you that this he, is a nice model that could be used as a lot of different is, things. Yeah. yeah, and the way he's got his hand positioned, like it looks like he's meant so to like, wait it's for like it, stay lads. back, stay back, hold back. But if you position him beside the sleazy looking dude, it perfectly rests on his knee. Oh, mate, this is a proper, like, you know, Liza Minnelli cabaret job, do you yep. reckon? It's all sleaves. Quite possibly. <laughs> Could be. Could be. Maybe we need to find a picture of this assembled and maybe, see maybe. if it does look as sleazy as you <laughs> imagine it, John. Um, machine guns in bolt action. Light machine guns, love them. Winner. Medium machine guns, they just, they never... It's another dice in the bag, sir, for the whole 50 points. Yes, but you could get you get a rifle squad of five guys for yes, it. Yes, you could. Which <laughs> <laughs> got a lot more survival. It's partly the special casualty problem. Yeah, like any weapons team, if dude. you get an exceptional hit, the weapon's gone, the crew disappears. Yeah. Um, I think they just need a little bit of something. I understand in Conflict Forty Seven, there's some sustained fire, like fi fire for suppression. suppression. Yeah, type. That just was give them. Good. They need something. They need, they need a little thing. something, not a lot. But again, narrative games. Take more always, time. All These things are all over the place. Um, it is exactly the same weapon as you've got the light machine gun in the squad, but the presumption is here not only is it mounted on the tripod, which is pretty sophisticated for different ranges mm. and fire modes, but there's just a lot more ammunition. Yeah. And, and, and a lot more barrels and yeah. all the other things you need to keep firing with these guys. There's uh, there's the metal. Nice. Like it. few other bits remain in the box. I mean, you get your bases, don't you? Always you get loads the legend, of bases. which is Morella, who assembled the box. Same. Same. Morella, she does the these things. The mysterious V-Man packed a few bits, but Morella put it all the together. The mysterious V-Man. Because I had one by Vass, but others by V. Yeah. Very strange. 
Um, yeah, so base wise, 25, 40 bases. Same for you? Uh, I'm going to say yes. Yeah. Uh, the round bases we get for our medium machine gun and for Times our light two. mortar. We've got uh, six pill bases for our six on their belly dudes, which is going to get you an anti tank rifle and stuff off the main sprue. The loads of that here. Whoop. Oh, there is. Sorry. Warlord fluff. Always. This for destroyed vehicles, mate. Five, five, in, five, all, in all of your war games, you collect this stuff up. Because, you know, burning tanks is the way forward, right? That's my favourite part of the game. Ooh, so get down to the bottom. Cards for cards, the vehicles. Unit cards. I wish they Vehicle. sold decks of these. Separately, yeah. yeah. So that you could just... Or even individual cards for 50p. Oh, you, you get one for the... You get one for the... Get one for the flak. Yeah, there's one of their vehicle That's sets. Different. You know, they're really nice, but you very rarely have all of the cards for all the vehicles that you're going to use in a given game. <laughs> <laughs> so you end up with the book True. anyway. Um, but they are nice. They are they are cute. And I think if you could get these in decks, I'd, I'd, I'd just like them more. And then we get... Uh, you get quite a few decals. Decals, here. quite a few, yeah. So t I've got two of the Deutsche Afrika Corps decals. Two sheets. Which is this that is, one. This is the infantry sheet. Right. Did you want to get the one? No, I got two. I was just curious. Two. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's your Achtung, Achtung Meinen. Meinen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, my eyes are not good enough. What, what? are those? I don't know what strips? they say. The, the, the bars say something. It just says Africa. And it's got like a, a, a pip either side. Yeah. So these are yellow beams here. Yellow and then we've bars. got some, some shoulder ranks. That's what those little triangles are, I think. And th these are helmet ones, John. These teeny weeny ones, they're helmet the... decals. The... That's, the you know, that on, on the side of the star yeah. helm, the shield. I can't see it. It's too shiny. No, shiny. Well, I, can, I, I cannot. Can I yeah. They're so I tiny. Yeah, they're diddy, guys. Diddy. But cool. You get loads. Yeah, but, yeah. Is it easier to paint them when they're that small? Um, well, no, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. So that's for your infantry and stuff like shoulder pads. Hel I mean, helmet badges, mate. I love that. There's loads of stuff. Um, then we've got two What's other this? decal sheets. German Armour Decal Sheet 2. That's kind of funky. You get all so this the is, things. So this is, the, this is the generic one. That's what would come with your Panzer three. All right, yeah. So that's going to get your Balkan cross. And then you get your Panzer division logos is what these yellow and white ones oh. are. So you've got in Africa, you've got 15th and 21st Panzer, I think. Now, I think 15th. One of them had red numbers. I think that might be 15th. So right. you probably want to do 21st Panzer. And I can't remember which logo that is, but you could Google it, right? I'm just, well, it's dangerous. <laughs> it'll be right, I don't know. <laughs> Will it be right or not? 15th, 21st, um, and there's a light division as well, which has got some tanks in it. So, That's you know, if you're cool, probably rivet heady, find out which particular Panzer division you want to do, because there are a very small number of formations in Africa. Yeah. Uh, so th there, there, are, there is a choice of two symbols here, <laughs> as it were. And then this other one is for your flak battery. And look, so they've got decals for like, I shot down two planes. Do you know what? I didn't even realize that. Yeah. I thought it was just. I think it's just for, armor for decorating yet. it. And again, you've got some. You see deep loads. Of helmet kill, badges. Loads of kill markings. And kill markings for tanks as well. Is that a boat? They've got boats on They've there, They've got man. boats there. I shot down a boat. I shot down, I shot down <laughs> a boat. I have gone, I shot down a boat. That is definitely a boat. <laughs> Do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. No, there's not a submarine on there, so that's cool. <laughs> All right. That's a cool, cool decal sheet. And I, re I really like that. So, um, and then as you get to the bottom, you probably, you probably showed them this before. If you've not, a little bit, yeah. If you've not seen this, the the the, the bit of paper you, you get with all of their infantry boxes, really nice in terms of it goes through exactly what each item on the sprue is. Yep. Um, oh, so, honest. if you're looking at something, oh, so what was that number thirty six? That was the grenade case. Uh, no, that's map and compass. Looking at the wrong thing. Eleven. Shell case for five centimeter light mortar. Oh. That's what that suitcase was. There we go. But a Which makes it. sense because they give you a five centimeter light mortar. Thinking, mm. dancing. Using my thinking head. Yeah. All right. Um, 
helmets, the personal equipment, stuff like that in this. I love the nods to Airfix. You've got the Tommy, you've got the MP40 guy doing that, which for me was the most iconic. memorable toy soldier. Do, 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 the guy with the submachine gun. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the guy, the guy throwing the grenade with the rifle There's over a his lot back. Of nods, as you said. Um, but yeah, really nice. Most unexpected item for me here, though. Plastic Flak 36. Yeah. Or, th or 37. I didn't realise they did this. And I, I and I wish they did all of their cannon in plastic. Well, it's, this is different because it's, it's somewhat bigger. It is. It is. Perhaps it's a whole... Yeah. Manufacturing side manufacturing of things. Manufacturing thing, yeah. Might be thing. I don't know. Really, really pleased. And it's good. Cool. All right, guys. Hope that was useful for you. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. -bye. So if you like bolt action, you're looking to start the system or start a new army, on our website, modelingforadvantage.co.uk, we have a range of the starter sets as well as a few of the starter armies. Do consider buying from us as a way of supporting the channel. Thank you for watching.